Hello, everyone. My name is Liang Dai, and I am a PhD student from the Institute of Information Engineering, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Today, I will present our recent work, so-called SDF-VAE, Static and Dynamic Factorized VAE for Anomaly Detection of Multivariate Seeding KPIs. This is a joint work with professors from Communication University of China, Shanghai Jiao Tong University, and the University of Minnesota. This presentation contains four parts, including background, algorithm, evaluation, and conclusion. Let's start from the background. Our research comes from the actual demand of detecting the unexpected instances from a top ISP operated city in China, like server or network failure. In general, these unexpected instances usually result in significant abnormal behaviors in some key performance indicators that collected by city operators, such as traffic volume, cascade ratio, and the server response delay, etc. As soon as right, Specifically, a task can be described as how to detect the abnormal behaviors in the multivariate time series. Since utilizing multiple types of KPI data streams not only avoids training and maintaining a large number of individual models for each metric, but also helps increase the effectiveness of anomaly detection. More recent studies based on deep learning has shifted to multivariate KPIs anomaly detection. The best idea of this method is to model the known patterns of time series, considering an anomaly or outlier often behaviors differently from the norm data. The large N observation deviates from the norm patterns, the more likely it is considered as an anomaly. However, the performance of deep norm detection is vulnerable to noise presented in multivariate KPIs, since the models are also trained to learn the distribution of noise in addition to norm data. Thus, you will suffer from the problem of overfitting. Unfortunately, noise is not unusual in raw multivariate data due to the volatile system environment and fine granularity data. As shown in the right, it is observed that the multivariate time series data of seeding often exhibit non-addictive Gaussian noises, such as multiplicative Gaussian, etc. And thus present a complex data distribution. Hence, the existing methods tend to present a decent performance in learning on patterns. This further lead to the false negatives or false positives. So how to build a robust and noise resilient anomaly detection method for multivariate time series data? To this end, we start with a thorough analysis of a robot multivariate seeding KPI dataset to gain some deeper insights. First, seeding is a dynamic system. As shown above, it is observed that seeding multivariate KPIs exhibit time varying characteristics, which comes from dynamic external environment, such as the variation of internet user requests and the volatile condition of network. In addition, there is intrinsic stability in seeding system, which is determined by the limited capacity of servers, such as network bandwidth, IO support, etc., and the well-defined internal interfaces between different components. Besides, we also notice that an incident typically tends to produce abnormal behaviors in multiple categories of CDN. We try to review the intrinsic stability of seeding system by studying the correlation between each KPI pairs via local correlation score. We underscore two domain specific observations. For the first observation, except for obvious time varying characteristics, such as periodically on individual KPI, as shown on the right, some KPI pairs are highly correlated with each other. More importantly, such correlation present time invariant characteristic, namely they remain unchanged for most of the time, except for occurrence of anomalies. 
For instance, due to the capacitor limitation of CDNG server, the increase of the outbound traffic will lead to a higher load of the server, resulting the increase of average time to first byte. Thus, it further reduces the average outbound download bit rates of HTTP sessions and vice versa. As a result, as shown in the red fig, some KPI paths such as outflow at red and out red HTFB are highly correlated and such correlation remains unchanged for most of the time. For the second one, the characteristic of time invariant exists not only in regular KPI pairs, but also in noisy KPI pairs, such as the KPI pair of out red and HTTFB in red figure. It indicates that noise has little impact on time invariant characteristic. And our ideas are motivated by these observations. To some extent, the observed time invariant characteristic reflects the intrinsic stability of a raw network system like CDN, in which different KPIs are constrained by certain time invariant characteristics of underlying system, such as time invariance, which has not been fully utilized by previous studies and can be considered as a hidden representations of the non-patterns in multivariate KPIs. Exploiting the time invariant characteristic of multivariate that to build a noise resilient anomaly detection system can not only capture more expressive representations of non-dead pattern, but also have resist noise in the data. The most challenge is how to explicitly learn the representations of both time variant and time invariant characteristics hidden in the multivariate KPIs. Here comes the SDFVAE. The overall framework is shown here. The raw KPI data passes through the data preprocessing modular firstly, then feed into the representation model to learn the patterns then perform anomaly detection. Now we have the multivariate KPIs. Our goal is to determine whether an observation at a certain time step can tell is anomalous or not. Here we show the detailed procedure of data preprocessing. We first get a series of observed variables. These variables constitute an observed sequence. With the window sliding at one slide, we get our training and testing data sets. <laughs> to explicitly learn the representations of both time varying and time invariant characteristics, a novel representation model is proposed to factorize the latent space into two separate latent variables, namely static and dynamic, which corresponds to the time varying and time invariant characteristics of multivariate KPIs, respectively. We derived the generation and the inference model as well as the evidence low bound and get the final loss function. Specifically, we utilize a bio stm based inference network to capture the static latent representations and a recurrent VA inference network to learn the dynamic latent representations. Here we show the procedure of inference and the generation of representation model. In anomaly detection, the most important thing is to specify the anomaly score of each observation. Here we prefer the log likelihood, which denotes how likely an observation is normal, since the likelihood is a dynamic Gaussian and can be factorized. Thus, we use s showing here as the final anomaly score of observation cattle. There are experiments are conducted on two categories of real-world assets to evaluate the effectiveness of SDFVAE. The first consists of three seeding multivariate KPI datasets collected from a top ISP oriented city in China, while the other comes from a public dataset named Server Machine Dataset. The baselines are reproduced based on open source codes 
and accelerated by a NVIDIA Titan GPU. It should be noted that only SDFVAE considers time invariant characteristic. Here we prefer to use F1 best to demonstrate the performance. It is observed that SDFVAE achieves the F1 best ranging from 0.92 to 0.99 on both regular and noisy dataset. Omni Anomaly achieves the second best overall performance, followed by MSCIED. Since Omni Anomaly introduces only the dynamic latent variables and can be trained to learn the posterior distribution of both non data and noiders, so it suffers from the problem of overfitting. In this case, some anomalies may not be detected since the distribution of them may be similar to that of noise. For example, we notice the tsunami score of the fifth anomaly on VOD1 dataset is much lower than SDFVAE. Thus, this anomaly has a risk to be missed by omni anomaly. Besides, the more turbulent anomaly score further demonstrates that omni anomaly is inferior to SDFVAE in capturing the non patterns of noisy KPIs. The inferior performance of MSCIED may lie in the signature matrix, which is not sensitive to some real anomalies, especially for anomalies with small degree or short duration, such as the fifth anomaly region in VOD1 dataset and the seventh region in Machine 1.5 dataset. Another possible reason lies in that MSCIED is a deterministic model and is not capable of learning the robust representations of varying characteristics in multivariate time series data, as shown here. We also evaluate the performance of SDFVAE by removing the static latent space or using the time independent prior of dynamic latent variables. The results further verify the effectiveness of our design. Besides, we study the sensitivity of some hyperparameters, and the results show that SDFVA is not very sensitive to the hyperparameters. Then, the efficiency studies suggest that SDFVA can be easily deployed in real-world setting in the middle of offline training and online detection. And our visualization experiments validate that SDFVAE can explicitly learn the representations of both the time invariant and time variant characteristics. The conclusion and our contribution can be summarized as follows. For the first time, we reveal that multivariate KPIs exhibit time invariant characteristics and that explicitly modeling such variants may have reduced noise in your data. SDFVA is a robust and noise resilient anomaly detection method by learning the representations of KPIs. We are explicitly factoring the latent variables into dynamic and static paths. Our experiments based on raw world data show that SDFVA significantly outperforms state of the art baselines. That's all, and thanks all of you for listening.